Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si... Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Science, Grade 4, Quarter 3, Lesson 7. Our topic for today is about sources and uses of sound energy. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning competency. First, the learners identify that energy is something that can cause change including light, sound, and heat energy. And, the learners observe and identify sources and uses of light, sound, and heat energy at school, at home, and in the community. Content, sources and uses of sound energy, and how to protect oneself from intense sound. Day 1 Let's have first a short review. Let's kick things off with a fan activity where we'll create a concept map to help us connect ideas and make learning even more exciting. But what is a concept map? A concept map is like a mind map that helps us organize ideas and see how they connect. Imagine a spider web where each idea is linked to another, just like how different parts of a story or a lesson are connected. Energy Concept Map Now, that we've begun, share anything you know about energy and we'll create a concept map on the board based on your ideas to explore how energy connects in different ways. Here are the possible answers. Light, motion, heat, electricity, food, and power. You can add some words that has something to do with energy. For our lesson purpose, the objective of this activity is to let the pupils understand that energy can be transferred and can cause change. They will observe the transfer of energy from themselves to the handkerchief and from the handkerchief to the balls. So here's an image of two children talking and whispering to each other. What do you think are the kids doing? How do they communicate with each other? What is sound? How do we use sound to speak and hear? And can you give examples of how animals use sound to communicate? Unlocking content area vocabulary. First, energy. Energy is the ability to do work. This means that energy makes things happen. The sun, as the principal source of energy for the earth, makes other forms of energy possible. Second is energy transfer. 
Energy transfer is the process of moving energy from place to place or from one object to another. But the form of energy does not change. Third is sound energy, a form of energy we can hear. It is an energy created when matter vibrates. Vibrations are very fast back and forth movements that you cannot see but can sometimes feel. Let's talk about subtopic number three, sources and uses of sound energy. So this time, perform at least three different claps in the YouTube video. Your teacher will let you watch this video on your television. Here are the questions that we need to answer. Number one, what happens when you clap your hands? The answer, when you clap, your hands push the air away quickly. This makes the air move and creates vibrations. These vibrations travel through the air and turn into sound. Number two, what does the force of your clap affect the sound? The answer, the harder you clap, the louder the sound will be. A soft clap makes a quieter sound. Number three, how does the speed of your clap affect the sound? The answer, the faster you clap, the sharper or higher the sound. A slow clap makes a softer, deeper sound. Let's have the worked example. Let us answer the following questions using this image. And here are the questions. Number one, can the students hear each other in the picture? Number two, if you think they can, how does that happen? If you think they can't, why not? Number three, look at the picture. Are there any signs showing if sound is moving between the students? Day 2 Let's read the story about the stuff in our world. Things in our world take up space and have some weight. There are three common types of stuff or matter, solid, liquid, and gas. A jacket, chair, and cup are all examples of solids. You can't put your hand through a solid. If you had microscope eyes, you would see tiny particles in solids are packed together tightly. Water, juice, and oil are all examples of liquids. We can move our hands through liquids like swimming in a pool. Tiny particles in liquids are not packed as tightly as solids, so we can move in between them. Two examples of gases are the air that we breathe and helium in birthday balloons. We can also move through gases. Particles in gases are not close together. The spacing of the particles makes sound to travel much faster through a solid than a gas. 
Let's have a lesson activity. Before we dive into the lesson on sound energy and its sources, let's watch the YouTube video below. And your teacher will let you watch this video. Now, let's have an activity. Knock, knock. Who's there? Directions. Put your ear on the table. Knock. Knock. Record observations about the sound you hear. Then lift your head with your ears in the air. Knock with the same force. Do you hear something different? In which condition do you hear a louder sound? And here's the table that you need to answer. Soft knock using less force. Describing the sound, ear on the table, a deeper, more resonant sound as vibrations travel directly through the solid table. Ear in the air, a softer, less pronounced sound as sound waves travel through the air. Next, hard knock using more force. Let's describe the sound you hear. Ear on the table, a loud, strong, and low-pitched sound with more intensity due to direct vibrations through the solid table. Ear in the air, a louder sound that or done, the soft knock but still less deep and resonant compared to the sound through the table. Day 3 Let's have a lesson activity, Sound Safari, Exploring Sound Energy at Home and School. Take some time at home to listen for different sources of sound energy. Create a list in your notebooks, organizing it into categories like people or animals, nature, household objects, electronics and gadgets and others write your answer in this table do this in your notebook Process questions number one, what were the most common sources of sound energy? Number two, were there any surprising sounds? Number three, how do we use sound energy in different ways? And number four, are there any sounds that are harmful to our ears? Share your answer to your classmates. Learner's Takeaways, The Sound of Our Lives, an essay on sound energy. Begin by leading a class discussion about different sources of sound energy. Encourage students to share examples they encounter in their daily lives. Examples, musical instruments, voices, car horns, nature sounds, or electronic devices. Have each student select one source of energy or sound energy that they find particularly interesting or relevant to their lives. Guide students in conducting research on their chosen sound source. They should aim to answer questions like the following. First, who or what creates the sound? Is it a natural phenomenon? A human invention? or something else entirely. Next, how is the sound produced? Who or what creates this sound? How does this sound affect people's lives? And 
Are there any health considerations related to exposure to this sound? Reflection on learning. Let the learners share their essays to the class. Encourage discussion and reflection on the diverse ways sound energy influences our world. Day 4 Formative Assessment The first part is multiple choice. Read carefully the questions below. Choose the correct answer from the choices below each question. And circle the letter corresponding to the correct answer. Number 1. Which of the following is an example of a source of sound energy? A. A light bulb glowing. B. A stationary car. C. A glass on a table. Or D. A guitar string vibrating. The answer is letter D, a guitar string vibrating. Number two, sound is made when things A, melt, B, vibrate, C, freeze, or D, disappear. The correct answer is letter B, vibrate. Number 4. Which of this is an example of sound energy helping us stay safe on the road? A. A car horn B. A whisper C. A clap or D. A sneeze The correct answer is letter A. A car horn Number 5. Sound travels fastest through a. Air B. Water C. Jelly or D. Steel The correct answer is letter D. Steel Second part of our formative assessment is true or false. Read carefully the statements below. Write true if the statement is true. Otherwise, write false on the blank space before each number. Number 1. Sound travels faster through air than through water. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Number 2. We can use sound energy to communicate with each other. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Number three, sound can only travel through solids, not liquids or gases. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Number 4. Musical instruments create sound energy through vibrations. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Number 5. Sound energy can be harmful if it's too loud. The answer is true. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.